which we we decided also to upgrade the electronics. Now the 16 series cross tuck has the rolling AP1. So now you all got to talk about the performance. It's really it's designed to increase your market share among acoustic electric players. I mean, everything has been designed. It's very smart. I, I'm very excited about it. This is a, a signature series of uh, Steve Miller guitar. It's the first time we've done actually a red guitar. And it's maple, because maple is really the one that can take a red finish. Two-piece neck. Um, let me show you another. This is the Yorma Cowan signature series. He was with Jefferson Airplane and then Hot Tuna. It's an M guitar with a big sound hole. Uh, European school style. Beautiful. Now, I have a really great guitar for Singapore. You know, the 15 series is great. It's great because it's all solid, and it's basically a great price. But now, because of the price of mahogany, the 15 series sometimes is appealing. It's whatever we have. But some people really want, they want a 15, but they want to make sure it's mahogany. So now, if you will have that custom, we can give them either a dreadnought or a triple O, guaranteed solid, genuine mahogany, but we also upgraded some things. And the price is not that different. So we have these open tuners, a bone, not in saddle, a beautiful snowflake design, a real old style decal, a real rosette instead of a decal, rosette. an upgrade on the pick guard, old style bridge, ebony pegs, and a little bit of a sheen, a little bit of a shine. But the part I like the most is there's a back strip. You can see the difference. It just looks so much, to me, classier to have this back strip. This was the show special guitar. Only 20 pieces, figured koa, um, Adirondack top. The first time we've done Abalone and Mother of Pearl inlay on a hexagon torch inlay, engraved gold tuners. Uh, it's a really beautiful guitar. This is a very collectible guitar. Um, this year, Chris is going to be 55. He was born in 1955, so we've made 55. 1955 D28 copies. So um, the rounded headstock like the old ones, the old style Clusen tunings, same neck shape, Madagascar rosewood of course instead of Brazilian. Old style rear shifted. You know everybody talks about forward shifting? Well in the 50s we couldn't do that because of the heavy gauge strings. So in the 50s we pulled the, we rear shifted the braces, we pulled them back because people were playing guitar with 15 gauge string. It's like telephone game now. So it's rear shifted. Everything is authentic except that it's not Brazilian and it has an adjustable rod. Great, very collectible guitar, only 55. <clears throat> These are some really crazy guitars, one of a kind. Because the price of gold is uh, steady, uh, there's two ounce, uh, one ounce, half ounce, quarter ounce, and a two ounce piece on the block. Madagascar rosewood, pearl inlay, beautiful gold engraved tuners. Um, somebody will buy it. This is our converted guitar, 1959 D35, that we've converted to a custom. On the other end of things, we have this orchestra model, which is 100% certified wood. 
the mahogany, the spruce, the ebony, all of it is certified. And the pickup is a my side pickup, no batteries. Um, you plug it in, it charges up for a few minutes, and it's good for 12 hours. So this is our environmentally conscious guitar. This is the new uh, Lawrence Juber signature model with maple back and sides and a maple neck, two-piece neck, and Adirondack top, finger stop. Moving on. You remember at Frankfurt, um, at the Frankfurt show, we introduced the new one series, which had a cutaway and a and pickup technology. So at this show, we have a full body now, and uh, these are great. You have you had some success? So now, if people want a full body, that's no problem. And we've come up oh, sorry, with an X Series Uke. Um, it has an attached dovetail joint, so it sounds pretty good. Buffett travel guitar. And finally, this X series, which portrays the whole origins of a Martin guitar. These people actually work here. So, that's the story. That's the story.